Good evening, I'm Matt White and thanks for your company. Well, she's a gold Logie winner, a television legend who's known for her crazy antics and that unforgettable voice. But lately, she's been quiet, unable to grace our screens for the past year. Tonight, how a crippling disease has turned the colourful life of one of our most loved entertainers into a heartbreaking shade of grey. Laura Sparks has this exclusive report. Mum would hate this. Mum would absolutely hate this, you know. I always remember her, you know, years ago saying, oh God, you know, if I go silly, you know, just put me out in the back and sort of, you know, get rid of me or whatever. Um, she'd hate this. But what do you do? It's a, it's a disease. It's, it's horrible. Come on guys, let's go see Nini. It's the weekly trip to visit Grandma, or in this case, Nini. But for Katie Little, the weekly journey is full of sadness. Anger that her larger-than-life mother is losing her mind. When you go to visit and you go, Mum! Mum! Which you've done your whole life and you sort of get this kind of blank, slightly confused look back at you where you know she can kind of recognise you but it's... you just... it's horrible. It's just horrible. What makes this story even more heartbreaking, Katie's mum, Charlotte and Tom's ninny, is our beloved three-time Logie Award winner, Jeannie Little. She has Alzheimer's. Sadly, her decline has been swift. The transformation of Jeannie, devastating. If you watch old TV footage of mum, she was, you know, one of the most vibrant TV personalities you are ever likely to come across. And you just wouldn't believe that mum's the same person struck with this disease. You wouldn't believe it. How fast has her decline been? Well, she went from a, a woman, um, a glamorous woman, perfectly capable of looking after herself to someone, you know, who needs assisted care, like 24 hour assisted care. Help with basic things like um, how to get dressed in the morning, things like that, how to, how to eat, you know, how to eat breakfast. Um, you, yeah, six months, so fast. Here's a couple of highlights from the early days. Jeannie Little fell into television in the 70s. The zany, crazy, glittering, larger-than-life character who got her big break on the Mike Walsh show, sporting outfits she'd made from unorthodox material. Go see what the boys in the back room will have. But her flamboyant nature soon saw her take a starring role on many variety shows. And as the years wore on, Jeannie survived. But sadly, this genie is no more. The disease has ravaged her mind so greatly, she's unable to give an interview. So I think I've come to terms with that now, that she doesn't recognise me. Um, we had a really good visit of a, a month or so ago where suddenly she put her hand on Tom's shoulder and... Um, I'll get teary talking about this. And suddenly just sort of said, oh, Tom... <laughs> Let me talk about it. Um, and that was so touching, you know, seeing her um, just recognise her grandkids for a minute and then gone again. So that's really heartbreaking because you, you're kind of dealing as if someone's... It's almost as if you're talking about someone has passed away, but they haven't passed away. They're still, they're still there and you know they're still there deep down, but you just can't get through. As a daughter, how do you deal with that when your own mother doesn't recognise you? I've dealt with it now, but there were times that I went to see her and just came home and bawled for 40, 48 hours. It is, isn't it, Barry? Oh, yeah. Katie's father, Barry, is still too upset to even speak about his beautiful wife. I really think Dad is still in shock with it because Mum was his life. So now that she's in a nursing home, I really don't think Dad has, has really um, come to terms with it. And how can you? I just don't think you can. I've never had much to do with, um, oh my God, with this kind of um, disease before. Showgirl Maria Venuti and Jeannie performed together for more than 35 years. You just couldn't believe that someone so vibrant, that this horrible illness would attack this beautiful person, this vibrant, generous, 
lovely woman. Jeannie Little has classical Alzheimer's disease. Jeannie's specialist is Professor Tony Bro, one of the world's foremost experts on Alzheimer's and a senior researcher at Neuroscience Research Australia. He said Jeannie's personality helped her hide the early stages. Started off with uh, a memory loss and difficulty naming people. But knowing Jeannie, she has a tendency to call everyone love and, uh, and she got away with that. Alzheimer's is the most common ageing disorder. Today, 250,000 people suffer from it. But as our population ages, it will become even more common. Up to one million sufferers by 2050. We know a lot about it. We know a lot about how it starts, how it progresses. We know a lot about the pathology, the accumulation of this amyloid substance in the brain. We know that it's toxic. But we do not know a lot about the causal factors yet. Maria visits her best friend every week in the hope that just for a moment, the real genie shines through. I wear the same frock a lot, to, so hopefully she'll think, oh, I know that. Um, I'll say the same things. I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, Jeannie Little and Maria Venuti. And, you know, just be... And there is a way to help. The Little family have set up the Jeannie Little Fund in the hope of raising money for research into this debilitating disease. Let's sock it to it. Let's... let's try and do something positive, you know, create a fund that actually, you know, does go towards research and let's wear vibrant colours and let's put mum's terrific image of her with her false eyelashes and looking fabulous, you know, on the web page because that's how mum would want to be remembered. Love's always been my game Place I may I was made that way I can't help it. That's uh, Laura Sparks reporting. It is a dreadful disease and sadly affecting more people now than ever as the population ages. If you'd like to donate to the Jeannie Little Alzheimer's Research Fund, you'll find all of the details on our website and there is more on Jeannie's fight in this week's New Idea magazine.